Hey guys, good morning. It is almost nine o'clock in the morning on December the 1st, guys. We literally have, what, 31 days until 2021? Shoot. Oh no, I'm sorry, 30 days because today is the first, so you don't count that 31st day. So 30 days until 2021. And how we doing? What are we doing? What's y'all's New Year's resolution? What y'all got planned for 2021? How are you going to bring it to the New Year's? What are we doing? You know, we got to social distance. We got to practice our safe, our safety and wear our mask and stuff like that. But I know people are going to be drinking and turning up on, you know, it's, it's a new, it's going to be a new year. It's a new president. It's a new, uh, you know, new generation, new, new everything. You know what I'm saying? New life, new death, new, new, new celebrations. Um, just everything, everything is going to be completely new. God has allowed us another chance, another year to another chance to see another year. Let me just clear that up. Another chance to see another year. So that right there is a blessing in itself. So, um, y'all must think like, why is this bitch up so early? Well, guys, um, I was up since midnight. Well, actually up since yesterday. I really didn't sleep because I I had I did sleep, but I woke up like extra extra early. <laughs> I don't know why, but I woke up extra extra early. Only because today is literally Greg's birthday. He just turned twenty nine, guys. And um, happy birthday, babe! I love you. I'm looking forward to many more birthdays and anniversaries and Christmases and Thanksgivings and New Year's and Valentine's Days and all St. Patrick's Days and everything to for the years to come. So um, I decided to do that personal birthday shout out to babe. Um, we, you know, we're doing some things today. Guys, you know, it's crazy because I told you guys that I was going to be nervous about Meeting his mom on Thanksgiving, okay? As just I tell you, the events is just like boom, 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 boom. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't lie. It's boom, 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 boom. And I'm catching up. I mean, I'm catching up. I'm right there. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm here. You know. Uh, but um, today, I'm actually meeting his dad. <gasps> oh Lord Jesus, take the wheel. I'm meeting his dad, and I'm meeting his grandfather. So. Uh, and everybody says grandpa, but I say grandfather. And, but yes, I'm meeting his dad, his father, his dad, and his grandfather. Um, and I'm just like so nervous because like, dude, just like, come on. Now it was last week I met his mom and now I'm meeting his dad and his grandpa. So it's just, it's amazing. I, of course, I told him, I said, babe, I'm nervous. He was like, I don't know why you're nervous. He was like, just be you and everything will be okay. So basically, um, he is take like taking his car and doing like a a family photo um, of him, his dad, and his grandpa in front of the this building that he loves. Um, and he wants to take a picture in front of it for his birthday. Because, you know, Greg is a car fanatic, so um, he wants to do that for his birthday. I mean, I tell you what, it's not that hard. It's not that he doesn't want anything difficult for his birthday. I can tell you that much. It's just like that did that. I mean, me, I, I wanted, you know, dinner in Louisiana and the casino and this and this and this going on, even though I didn't go to the casino, though. But still, I was thinking of all the stuff I wanted to do. He's so basic and so simple. He is just so basic and so simple. He was just like, I just want to do this and this and that's it. Just say happy birthday and I'm good. I'm like, why can't I ask for an, any better man? Like, oh my God, God, you just, uh, you're spoiling me, Lord. Um, And so, yeah, so I just, I did a personal shout out to him and everything like that. Um... And because, you know, it's his birthday. So goodness, 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 goodness. Um, anyways, guys. Yeah. So it's December the 1st. What's you guys December motives? Like I've already decorated my whole entire house in Christmas stuff. Yeah. Was it yesterday? No, I don't think it was yesterday. I think it was the day before yesterday. 
I have candy canes everywhere. I have a snowman. Excuse me. I have a snowman on my door. I have Santa Claus on my on my wall, like two places. And then I have my whole table decorated in red and black with like little little places that say Santa Claus is oh cookies for Santa Claus. And usually what me and the kids do is um, the Christmas Eve will put uh, some cookies over there for Santa and <clears throat> and some milk and stuff like that. I have some like some mason jars that say joy on it. I will put that there and say, I'll drink the milk and eat the cookies. You die, you die, say it. And last year, I did kind of, it's kind of cool because um, <clears throat> I ended up like changing my whole entire light fixtures inside the house. What I did was I added one green and one red light. Okay, so I'd actually add red, green, and white. Okay, and I told the kids, I said, look, if this red light is on, that means the Santa Claus is not going to come because he knows that, that you guys are not asleep. You guys haven't been good. Y'all have been naughty. That, that means y'all are not going to get any Christmas gifts. And they was like, oh, my gosh, like, oh, my gosh, like Santa Claus is he's he's going to know that we've been bad. So we got to be good. I said, yeah, you got to clean up your room. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I told him, I said, if the the green light is on then that means that everybody's sleep, everybody's, everybody did good, everybody's been on the nice list, uh, even though he can check it, mommy has her own personal nice list, um, and so I said, I said that uh, if the green light is on, then everything is good, you guys are good, like that's good, um, and Santa Claus will know that it's okay to come, because I don't want to light my, my chimney, I don't want to light my fireplace, and then, it's on red and he slides down and he burns his butt. I said, that's not going to work. I said, but if he slides down the chimney and it's, and it's on fire or it's, uh, it's lit and the light is green, he'll be able to slide on through with no problem. He's like, I don't want to burn Santa Claus's butt, mom. We need to have the green light on. I said, okay. I said, then we're going to do the green light then. But you guys have to put in your part as well. And so they were like, okay, okay. So they did everything they could to make sure that green was green light was on before they went to bed. They were like, okay. And I said, well, the green light's not going to be on until you guys are all asleep. You have to be asleep. And then I checked on them and they were asleep. <laughs> My kids don't ever go to sleep like that so fast, but they were asleep. Um, and I turned the green light on or whatever. But, but yeah, they, I thought they, they, they love that. So I'm going to do that again. Next, the, uh, I'm sorry, this year. Uh, and then um, another thing that I did was in order to clean up the house, I kind of had the kids like do some different kind of games. Um, and just to make it fun and interesting, because, you know, cleaning could be boring. Uh, but not necessarily like cleaning up the house. It's more so as taking down the decorations because I think Christmas is the one time of the year that I put like too many decorations up in my house. Like I'll have streamers going across my ceiling. I'll have, uh, you know, uh, garland, garland going everywhere. I'll have reefs going everywhere. I'll have, you know, I don't know what that fuzzy, that crinkly colory stuff is. I forgot what that's called, but uh, I have that going on. I have stockings galore, Santa Claus. I have red stuff. I have a joy to the world on the wall. I have candy canes and, and snowflakes and everything. It's just everything um and so um so yeah so what I did last year um was I had the kids I the kids had like stuff inside their stockings and so what I did was I told them I said what you have to do is you have to go two on a team or uh, split into teams and one on one side one in mommy's room and one in y'all's room one group in mommy's room one group in y'all's room okay it was like, okay, I said, you both of y'all have to run as fast as you can and grab as many toys as you can or things out of the stocking as you possibly can. And I said, I said, then you'll go to the, go to the opposite side of the house, man. I went ready, set, go. They were bumping each other. They were pushing each other. But see, that's the good thing about one of the benefits of work, you know, living on the first floor, because I don't have to really worry about them really running over nobody's head or anything, even though the people upstairs, my God, it sounds like a stampede in two. But, um, 
But yeah, down here, they get to run, they get to laugh, they get to, you know, do flips and stuff like that. That's kind of why I like being on the first floor and, you know, preparing them for a house and stuff like that, because I know how irritating it is living over somebody's head and you're just constantly bumping and screaming and running and crashing into things and people are trying to sleep and you're constantly walking all night, all day, all night, all day, all night, all day. It's just like, oh my God, can I get some rest, please? But but yeah, so so they had that. Um, and then uh, what's another thing I had? I had that. It was kind of like a relay race. I guess that's what you can say. It was kind of like a relay race. I had that going on there. So they they really enjoyed that. Um, and any toy that they picked, they and it could have been out of anybody's bag. They all had their names on their bags. It could have been out of anybody's bag and they and they get to keep it. So they were like, don't take my don't take my doll. Don't take my this. But if they picked it up, it was there. So uh, it was it was fun. They had things like that. So I'm going to do some more games like that this year for, for Christmas and stuff like that, just to kind of make it interesting and stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying you don't want the kids to be bored after they rip their gifts open and stuff like that. So. So, yeah. But um, uh, what do you guys what do you guys do to keep you the people that have kids um, uh, keep your kids occupied during the holidays? You know, uh, we, we as parents have to keep uh, our kids preoccupied. We have to get make it interesting. Um, a lot of kids, you know, have a short tension span and they're just like, OK, this is boring. OK, what else are we doing? And my my son, Sky, is like that. Like he has to constantly be moving, constantly be doing something. Otherwise, he's like, OK, mom, I'm bored. And and he said that really, really easily. Like, mom, I'm bored. I don't even think you know how to spell bored. Like, come on. How are you bored every time you turn around? So, so I have to in, invent different things in order for him to, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to be okay, to be interested and, and be active and stuff like that. Most of the time is running around and doing other things and stuff, but he's an awesome kid. So, um, yeah, but what do you guys do to, uh, keep your kids occupied? What do you do around the holidays? Is there a tradition that you guys do on the holidays? I know everybody has their Thanksgiving holiday traditions, but what about New Year's and what about Christmas? Um, I don't have a tradition for Christmas. I just kind of go with the flow um, because I, I I feel like in Christmas, it shouldn't be a tradition. It should be just, you know, being adventurous and spontaneous and just, you know, just enjoying life. Because especially when you're a mom, especially when you're a dad, especially when you're parents, you have to invent different things because the kids be like, oh, my God, we did this last year. Oh, we did this two years ago. We do this every year, mom. Like, no, it's, 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 it keeps them interested. It keeps them active. It keeps them, you know, moving and motivated when you, when you change up, uh, different things. And, and uh, you know, Thanksgiving is good to have a tradition because all we do is like eat, watch the game, sleep, or go outside and play ball or something like that. You know, it's time for the family. Um, but things, I mean, you know, Christmas, it is time for the family, but it's more also time to, you know, g- give God that thanks for, you know, dying on the cross for us. And, you know, this and this and this going on because that was his birthday. So we're, we're, we're taking this a step further than just Thanksgiving, you know? So, um, so yeah, so huh, that's all I wanted to say, guys. I just wanted to give that personal shout out to babe and let you guys know about my Christmas plans and just everything. And I'm going to come back on here and just update you guys about today and how today went and my nerves and my nerves. Y'all pray, pray for me, pray, pray, pray for me because baby girl is on. Ooh, I'm happy. I'm excited because this is, you know, my mom says that this is exactly what I asked for. And, you know, you ask and you and ask and you shall receive, you know what I'm saying? So um, I've asked him, I'm like, why haven't I met any of his people? And why this, why that, you know, this and this and this like that. Um, and, and now I'm meeting them and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, come on, like, <sighs> you know, I'm excited, but you know, like I said before, like first, first impressions are everything. So, so it's just like, it's, 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 uh, it's amazing. Like it is, it's, it's amazing. And I just, I, I have to, I have to take this day and you know, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And so, 
<sighs> I'm excited. I really am excited. Um, I can't wait to to meet uh, meet them and um, and all of that. So, you guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful a wonderful Tuesday, December the first, and I will catch you guys later. Be blessed. Stay blessed because you are blessed. Peace.